What's up guys, just doing this thing for a little Halloween special. Uh, Resident Evil 3. This was my first, uh, this was my very, very first Resident Evil game. Um, I, I first played this game when I was in high school, I believe. But what happened was, uh, I was at, um, when I worked at Publix, uh, I was um, over in the book session, I was looking at the magazines. I was, uh, I was reviewing the magazines, and uh, I got to the Resident Evil 3 page, because uh, that's when the game first came out on, on, on PS1. And I said to myself, uh, I said, who's that, uh, who's that hot girl with, with, in the mini skirt and the gun? <laughs> and I was, uh, reading the views, uh, and they gave it all fives. And then a year later when I graduated, um, I, I had a friend, uh, Daniel Mitchell, when I was working at Papa John's, we were talking about video games, and I told him, I said, I, I like Capcom games. Well, fuck Capcom for Kessel Mega Man Legends 3, but, uh, he said, um, he said, uh, you play Resident Evil? I said, no. He said, uh, you're not a Capcom fan then. He told me uh, if, if I want to play Resident Evil, I need to play. Uh, I need to start with uh, Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil Core Veronica. So that's how I got into the Resident Evil games. After playing Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil Core Veronica, uh, I, I, I played both of them on Dreamcast. I wanted to learn the, um, you know, the whole story. So then I played Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 4 when it came out. So that's how I got to Resident Evil. But I officially got into it because I thought Jill was a really sexy. Maybe I'm just a natural born uh, pervert. I don't know. New game. Easy mode? Uh, no, we're going to do this on hard mode. Resident Evil 3. At first thing we get is a cut season. Let me shut up. Though. It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. Farewell to my life. Farewell to my home. This is my last escape for survival. This is my last chance for survival. Whatever. This is my last escape. Okay. Uh, this game is called Biohazard Last Escape in, Je in uh, Japan. It's not called Nemesis in Japan, but uh, the reason why this game is called Nemesis will be very apparent later on. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 3 plays uh, exactly like Resident Evil 2. There's a few new things. I tried to dodge it, but I couldn't do it. I pressed the fucking dodge button. I'll try that later. Not right now. Let's just get going. You're right, I do suck at that. 
Zombies and more zombies. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're trapped. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow. I'm still alive. Okay, she said daylight, but it's clear. I was there at nighttime out there. Or maybe she was in here the whole day or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there. How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter. But there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here. No! I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters, which is uh, pretty ironic considering uh, that's exactly what's going to happen to the poor bastard, but I will. In a way, uh... <laughs> A few basic here. Uh, as I said, Resident Evil 3 uh, is plays pretty much the same as Resident Evil 2. Uh, the main difference between uh, uh, Jill and Claire pretty much have the same sprite. The only difference is uh, that Claire, um, Jill has a more feminine sprite here. Uh, Jill kind of twists her legs. We stand. Claire stands uh, kind of upright. Uh, they walk pretty much the same. They run pretty much the same. Um, I'm gonna show them a split screen here in the in the movie. Uh, but but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing. In fact, uh, Resident Evil 3 takes place at that time as Resident Evil 2 did. I believe that the part of the game I'm playing right now as takes place before Resident Evil 2, and then uh, the second half of the game uh, is when um, is when Resident Evil 2 actually started. And after Resident Evil finished, that that's when the second half of the game when uh, Jill got here from the TV or whatever. Hmm, I just bought a game for you. Anyway, uh, Resident Evil 3. Uh, this isn't like Code Veronica. Uh, Resident Evil 2, uh, you need to be a little tactical here. This is a survival game, a dog survival game. Your ammo isn't plentiful like it was in Cove Ronka and Resident Evil 2. Your herds are not plentiful. You can't just shoot everything in sight. You have to make every bullet count, so on and so forth. Speaking of bullets, uh, I explained uh, gunpowder later on. If you want to learn now, go to Game Facts. Let's get this uh, key right here. You need this to get out of here. Uh, I don't make gunpowder. Um, I don't make handgun bullets. I don't make shotgun shells. I only make uh, magnum rounds and freeze rounds. Everything else I pick up. If I really need strong ammo, I might make some flame rounds and acid rounds for like a certain boss fight. But for the most part, I don't make those uh, those bullets. Anyway, take the key and use it here. We're gonna discard, of course. Uh, if you uh, keep every key and put it in your in your in your item box, you get like a special key later on during your replay. For like a special costume or something like that, right? I don't know exactly how that works out, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, uh, unlike I did in my Code Veronica game, uh, you aren't going to see me a spell a knife. Fuck that. We're not going to use a knife in Resident Evil 3. Unless uh, your name is... Unless... <laughs> unless your name is uh, Nikolai doing Mercenaries mode. And also, uh, you're not going to see me shoot everything in sight. Because, like I said a few minutes ago, in this game, this is a diehard survival game. You need to pretty much preserve your ammo. Know when to shoot them. And know when to not shoot them. For example, I can avoid these bats here, so I'm not going to shoot them. Let's just, let's just get a move on. In this room, we have a zombie infested hallway, which is very unfortunate because I need to go down there to get two things. Go in this door. Zombies! And this one's rushing for me. Back off, fucker. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I pissed the. You, you heard me. Come on, AJ. You heard me press the fucking dodge button. You heard me. You heard me press the dodge button that time. Come on, seriously. Maybe because it's, it's such a bigger button. I gotta. I don't know why. Well, fuck, fuck, bitch. Ah, I had to reload. <clears throat> okay, I dodged it and I had to reload my gun. Bad break there. Anyway, uh, this dude has a shotgun. And yeah, maybe just come here to get this uh, lighter oil thing here. And uh, since this room is zombie infested, let me uh, get my shotgun now. There's a uh, plenty of shotgun. Die! Uh, he's not dead yet. 
She's gonna bite my foot. I know it. He's gonna bite my foot. I always hate this hallway. These damn zombies, man. Okay. Now we're out of here. A couple herbs here. Uh, if I was playing uh, Cove Veronica, I would use a herb right now to, to bring back food since I got bit twice. But uh, we're not going to do that in Resident Evil 3 because, uh, like I said, your herbs are not plentiful in this game. So you need to... Resident Evil 3 is a die-hard survival game. You're just trying to do whatever it takes to stay alive. Oh, go check in my files with AJ. Please. Anyway, uh, more zombies out here. To, uh, to dodge the zombies... You have to press the press the aim button just before they get ready to attack you. But unfortunately, uh, up oh, shit, shit. Sometimes uh, that's hard to do. Some people say that it's a lot easier to do it if your back is turned, if your back is turned against them. But sometimes the zombies rush for you, and sometimes they don't try to grab you at all. And you might press the dodge button where you're not supposed to press it, and then you end up getting bit and so on and so forth. For that reason, unless you're a diehard professional at it, it's best to just shoot them or avoid them completely. And use this now. I did so I can save space because I need to pick up a lot of stuff. Uh, if you plan on doing the uh, Mercenaries uh, Nikolai run, you pretty much need to get the Dodger thing mastered. Well, not necessarily. If you want to save every hostage, stuff like that, then yeah, you need to master that. Anyway, uh, go in this room now. If Mimi serves me, uh, Brad's gonna be here. Shooting zombies. Sound like he has the, uh, the enhanced gun. I, I can, I can avoid this guy. He's got the Eagle 6 something. I don't know. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna be, uh, getting that gun this LP. Cutscene, let me shut up, uh. Get away! Alright. Uh, I think if you uh, if you uh, don't help Brad here, you you, you you get like a slight different uh, conversation here. But oh well. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die! What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape! There's no escape! Alright, Bob Rock. Uh, a really funny thing I found about Resident Evil 3. Notice how... They, uh... They cut the scene there as soon as he went out the door. A funny thing about Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil Code Veronica... Uh, for some reason, first let's uh, combine these two to make our lighter. Uh, this isn't like Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica. Unfortunately, the lighter and the lockpick takes up your inventory space, which is very, very annoying since we got to use it five times or something like that. But anyway, as I was saying, the game simply refuses to, to show people going out the door. The game always cuts to a scene where you can't actually see the door, and that's when they go out the door. I don't know why that is, but I'll show you exactly what I mean later on. Have you noticed that, AJ? I, I, I actually don't talk about it anyway. Anyway, at this point, we can uh, go back to the beginning of the game and see a girl getting killed by these zombies. But we'll, we'll do that later since I'm going there to, uh, to get up. Oh. Fuck, fuck. All right, shotgun time. Die! Yes. <laughs> yes, in this game, uh, you want to make sure that your hits, fuck you, that your hits count. Because unfortunately, your, your ammo is limited. Nobody would have shot that guy, but my ammo is scarce in this game, so I'm just gonna let him live for now. He's gonna die at the end of the game anyway, because they're gonna blow the smithereens. Uh, there should be a few more loose. Let me kill this guy. If I don't, he's gonna bite me. No, I can avoid him. Okay. There's another one right here, but this is where I gotta go. He's rushing for me, so I'm gonna shoot the motherfucker. And as I was saying, uh, now that we got the lighter, this is where we wanna go here. This is really unfortunate that the lighter takes up your actual inventory space unlike it did in other Resident games because you have to use this about what three or four times in the game. Now these zombies sometimes they don't actually bust that door down until you get to the door, but this time they bust down pretty quickly. I'm just gonna wait, 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 aim at the barrel. 
aim at the barrel. Steady. Steady. And die! One hand gun bullet. I killed five zombies or six of them. Uh, there's two of them over there. I want those red herbs, so I'm going to kill this one. And I can shoot this bitch with a handgun. Come on. Uh, hey, I gotta reload like that. Die, bitch. Thank you. And stay dead. I thought I told you. I hate when they do that. They just don't know when to die. She's. She's crawling. She's still trying to. Die, bitch. Thank you. Anyway, you take this uh, lighter here. You burn this. But what I don't understand is uh, we have a combat knife, so why can't we just cut it open with the knife? It's a rope. Why, why can't we just cut it? Why do we gotta burn it down? Okay. Anyway, there's a couple of mutts in here. I'll deal with them later. Yeah, I do hate dogs. Especially little baby chihuahuas who think they're rock riders. Anyway, uh, there's some gunpowder here. Uh, let me uh, pocket this for now. Actually, mm, mm, I'm going to pick up some more real souls. I don't need being that with me. Now, I'll use that for a while. Uh, anyway, uh, gunpowder A with with the reloading tool makes uh, handgun bullets. Gunpowder uh, B makes uh, shotgun shells. If you miss gunpowder A with gunpowder B, you make gunpowder C. Gunpowder C makes uh, grenade rounds. Gunpowder C C makes uh, grenade freeze rounds. Gunpowder A and a C makes um what's that flame rounds right? Gunpowder C and B makes acid rounds. And three gunpowder C makes my favorite ammo the mana rounds of course. And you're gonna see me make those about maybe twice. Let's just pocket that baby for now. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep this shit organized as I possibly can. I like to. I don't know about you, but I like to organize my my ammo. You you had shit all over the place. <laughs> okay, well you had infant ammo, so you had anything to worry about. Anyway, uh, there's those. I forgot about those mutts. All right, here we're gonna get our first. Um, a little twisted residue see we're gonna get our first live action thing here. Your actions uh to determine your fate. I'll spend more but I'll spend more but later on. And also uh, we're gonna get a good look at Jill's uh legs here. Really sexy. This is when I fell in love with her. <laughs> it's two seconds, so don't miss it. Don't blink. Whoa, sexy. Uh, Jill. Jill. Uh, we've got a Oh shit, what is this? What is this? Stars. Nemesis. If this is your first time playing the game, trust me, you are gonna hate this motherfucker. In a way, are we gonna fight with the monster or are we gonna enter a police station? Since I don't like this son of a bitch, we're gonna enter a police station. She dies automatically, and she runs. Uh, once again, this part takes place before Resident Evil 2. Uh, this is when Brad got turned to a zombie. You'll see that later on Resident Evil 2. If you choose to to uh, fight the monster, what that does is uh, you can uh, look at Brad and pick up a stars card, so you won't have to go to the office and get your own. People do that for speed runs. Unfortunately, since I chose to be a coward, I gotta get my own stars card. And by the way, uh, in Resident Evil 2, this is where you're gonna. Uh, this whole police station is actually the main focus in Resident Evil 2. You're gonna spend pretty much half of the game in this police station solving puzzles. Uh, Claire and Leon, uh, Sherry and Ada spend pretty much the whole game in this police station. It's in uh, so yeah. But what I don't understand is if this happened before Resident Evil 2, why is this blocked off now? But it's not blocked off in Resident Evil 2. Cause you go in that door in Resident Evil 2, and you go in this door in Resident Evil 2. But this is happening before Resident Evil 2, so why is it blocked off now? That doesn't make any sense, but oh well. Video games aren't, aren't supposed to make sense. Anyway, uh, there's some handgun bullets here. No point of going to that computer because I don't have a stars card. So let's get a move on. Let me uh, reload my gun. No, I'm, I'm good. Damn, I got one shotgun shit. I gotta make sure it counts. <laughs> All right, we got quite a lot of dead guys in here. Come on, man! What the fuck? You saw me. You saw me. You saw me aim. 
You saw that. It's, it said, no, you aren't dodging. He's rushing. Okay, I'm going to dodge him. There we go. Ironically, it's easier to dodge the zombies when, when, they're, when they're running at you really fast. Than it is when they're running, uh, than it is when they're running at you slow. I don't know why it is, but it is. Once again, uh, many people say that it, it's easier to do it if your back is actually turned to them. I guess uh, you, you can only dodge it when they're pulling up their weapon. Once they officially uh, pull up the weapon, you, you can't dodge them. I don't know exactly how that shit works, but... Oh, well. Okay, this should be ugly bitch right here. Yeah, that hoe. For some reason, I always remember this one zombie. I don't know. Bitch, die. There's another one right here. Two more. This is what I meant by making your, your hits count. One shotgun, and I got two zombies. One shotgun bullet, and I got two zombies. In this game, you, you have to make sure your hits count, because... You quick realize that you can't just shoot everything in sight in Resident Evil 3. Trust me, this is a die-hard survival game. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go here now. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, the last time I played this, there were zombies here, not dogs. Okay. Uh, I know that most of the things that happen in Resident Evil 3 is, uh, is determined by the actions, but sometimes shit is just completely random. For example, uh... I can get either a Magnum here in the police station, or I can get a, uh, a grenade launcher. I'm doing the same thing that I did last time, but I might not get the same weapon that I got. We we'll just have to wait and see. But it doesn't matter, because I don't use either of them to end the game. Uh, by the way, in Resident Evil 2, uh, this is where you have to use the uh, the ladder to get one of those uh, key things. Just thought note that those of you playing Resident Evil 2. That's a Stars card. Eat a french fry here. Damn dogs. Pig dogs. Mm. What the fuck? I thought I did too. Okay. Alright, bitch. Now stay dead this time. Damn. I guess that means uh, she wasn't fully dead, which means she would have came back and bit my foot or whatever. I don't know. Hate that shit. Anyway. Now we got the stars card. We gotta go back to the beginning of this uh, police station here. Uh, a really aggravating thing about. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. I gotta learn how to dodge these guys. I'm sorry. A really aggravating thing about Resident Evil 3 is uh, people have a hard time doing speedruns in this game because sometimes the game is completely random. If this was Code Veronica, I could probably skip this. I could skip the stars card and put in the password, but unfortunately, you have to you have to actually get the stars card to uh, use the password because uh, for stars, see the password is zero five one three. Now that's not going to be the password every time you play the game, so you pretty much have to actually. Uh, figure out what the password is before you uh, put it in because uh, that's just the way it is unfortunately once again uh, if you choose to fight nemesis you won't have to man what the fuck uh, will somebody please tell me how that shit works <laughs> if you choose to fight the nemesis uh, you can pick a brass card you won't have to do all that what was that 0513 AJ 0513 okay I see that you simply go over here Zero, five, one, three. And we get a key, of course. I need one key to get that key. I need that key to get this key. I need that key to get part one of a three-part key. Then when I go in there, I get another key that was at the beginning of the game. <laughs> get that key to go back to the end of the game. <laughs> All right, after we get that, yeah, the, the bitch is dead this time. Uh, let me go to my item box now because uh, I need to make some space. Let me avoid this dead guy here. He's not a threat. Alright, if you look in this uh, drawer here, there's a uh, gunpowder A. I Come on, gunpowder A, I believe. We're just gonna pocket that bay for now. We're gonna pocket this, and I don't need this anymore. Let me just go ahead and combine these uh, two herds right here. I'm gonna try to preserve these as much as possible, but uh, with my luck, when Nimps is popping around, I end up using the shits. I hate that fucker. Uh, keep my ammo together. Stars car, I don't need that. Why didn't they let me discard that when I don't need it anymore? I don't know. 
I guess I could in case you actually uh forget the password or something. Probably why. I did forget the password one time. Alright, and we good. Let's go. Actually Uh Just 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 in case shit, let me take it hurt with me. I don't plan on using it, but just in case. Once again, uh, uh, this whole police station is indeed in a residue too. I think that's the puzzle room in residue too. I don't know. Die! You should be dead. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, with, with the pictures and stuff. All right, should be a fat zombie up here. Uh, unlike residue two and Cold Ranker, you don't have to actually press the action button to go up steps. She walks up by herself, which is very convenient. Yeah, there he is, fat ass. Uh, it was really annoying when you had to actually press the action button to go upstairs. I don't know why that is, but oh well. Die! He's pretty fast for fat guy. He's faster than skinny guys. <laughs> uh, th th this is also a puzzle room in Resident Evil 2. You have to push these blocks over here and stuff like that to get one of those red jewels. Just start note that for those you playing RE2. Speaking of RE2, this is where Claire meets uh, Sherry. Sherry calls on this this little thing here. Uh, see, this this door sealed off now, but you, but you go in that room as you two to solve a puzzle with this. Uh, just I forgot with the, with the bookshelf and stuff like that. You you fall through the floor, you solve solve this bookshelf puzzle or whatever. And if you're playing uh, scenario B, Mr. X uh, eventually appears up there and stuff. We don't need the key. Let's discard it. All right, now I don't know exactly what determines this maybe it's completely random or how long it takes you to get here this will either be a magnum or a grenade launcher what we got today damn it grenade launcher but since I'm not gonna use this till later on it really doesn't matter uh, this is a uh, Rebecca's uh, desk uh, as far as our uh, Rizzy with girls go I can't choose between uh, Jill and Claire so I'm gonna say Jill and Claire number one for me number two is a uh, hands down uh, Rebecca Chambers there's some handgun bullets on the shelf here. This is a uh, Chris desk. And Resident Zero and Resident Remake. Rebecca Sam was just so cute. And in in the remake, Resident One, her her ass was just really oversized. A lot of people uh, comment on that. They shrunk it in Resident Zero. But Rebecca's really really cute. After Rebecca comes, uh, for me comes Sheva Alamar. I love me some Sheva. I really love that chick. My best friend likes uh, Ada and Alice from the movies. Let's just uh, skip that shit. Anyway, this uh, lot pick is what you, what you came here to get with. The, the, the lot pick. Let's get out of here. Okay, we picked up a really, really important key. I wonder what's going to happen now. Hmm. What well, zombies? Whoa! What the hell was that? Hmm. Spooky music. Okay, just like most of you um, who play this game for the first time, you probably wet your pants here. But this shit scared the fuck of me the first time I played the game. Whoa! Shit, he got a rocket launcher. God damn. Oh fuck. If you're good, you can actually dodge that rocket. But uh, I wouldn't chance it because you can actually get stuck in the wall and still get hit by it. That shit takes me about half a health, just thought I'd show you that. Anyway, uh, remember what, what I said about how the game refuses to actually show the enemies or show people going through the door? This is what I meant. Let me kill this dead guy first, he's gonna be in my way. Die, bitch! Oh, fuck! I wasted a bullet, I should've killed one shot. Come on. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay. You see that door right there? There's another dead guy here. I thought I killed you guys before. Die, bitch. Thank you. Anyway, you, you see that door right there? What is taking Nemesis so long to come in here? What's taking him so long? What is taking him so long to come in here? Why is he coming? Why? I'm just sitting here. Another dead guy that wants to die again. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, that was a glitch. He, sh he should have lost his head, but his head was still there. I never seen that glitch before. Okay. In a way, uh, Nemesis is, is behind that door. What's taking him so long? Why is he coming here? Okay, I walk this way. You can st if somebody opens the door right now, you actually see them opening it. 
if he got to come in, you see him open it. But he's not coming. Now, as soon as I switch screens here, it's impossible to, to, to see the door. That's when he's going to mess you up. Watch this. Stars. See that? See that? The game refuses to show them actually coming through the door. They fix it to where they only come through the door where you can't actually see the door. What's going on here is uh, they're really just appearing out of nowhere. Kind of like uh, Mega Solid. Every now and then you see a gym soldier come out of nowhere. I guess maybe they couldn't actually have enough RAM to actually show people going through the door. I don't know why that is, but it is. But that's what's going on. That's just appearing out of nowhere. I find that kind of kind of funny. In a way, uh, what the hell happened to Brad's body? I think at this point, this is where he actually turned into a zombie because uh, in Resident Evil 2, you, you can fight Brad as a zombie. You gotta like not pick up items or whatever. I don't know exactly how this shit works, but well, he's a zombie in Resident Evil 2. Poor guy. In a way, after getting a lockpick, you just uh, oh, where am I going? Am I going the right way? Yeah. I think in lockpick is used over here. All right. Uh, I think I got an item box coming up. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go. I got an item box coming up, and I'll be coming back here later anyway. So. All right. If you absorb this uh, corpse here. This dead, this dead mercenary dude, you can hang up boots. This is why I do not make hang up boots because there's plenty of hang up boots in the game. I know the enhanced hang up boots is okay, but uh, I don't make the enhanced hang up boots in the first run. Only in the, in the reruns when I got like infinite ammo and stuff like that. But not right now. Alright, don't worry about that right now. We'll do that later. Now, sometimes there's some green herbs here, and sometimes they're not here. In this case, they're not here today. Which means I picked them up in another spot. And, uh, since I gotta come back here later, I, I guess I get them then. Couple of dogs here. I I didn't know he was, he was right there in front of me. But the dogs, uh, if you, um, if you walk. Damn. What? AJ. Why did I? Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Let me get out here before I die. Anyway, with the dogs, if you walk, sometimes uh, they won't bother you. Unless they're like really, really close to you. But in that case, he was close to me, so oh well. Anyway, uh, I'm well aware that that dead body has some, uh, has some, has some gunpowder B. But I'll pick it up later. See, right now I'm walking. Like all dogs, uh, they don't bother you unless you're running away from them. There's that bitch again. This one's right in front of me. So I'm going to have to kill him. Let me flee from this one. He still didn't bother me. <laughs> I looked out there. Alright, I uh, must well needed a uh, save room. Let me just say heal up and we'll be back. Alright guys, sorry for that little interruption there. Uh, I have a little... Some issues with my neighbor, but uh, well, she just got to deal with it because this is my house. I pay rent here. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Um, What did I leave behind? I left the uh, gunpowder B, right? And the blue herbs... I gotta get by those dogs to get that gunpowder B. I'll deal with them when I get some more shotgun shells. For now, let's just keep moving forward. Let's go forward, forward, forward. Let's go forward. Let's be a dog. To just, there's some more uh, dogs out here. Damn it! The first one, the first one attacked me. Then, then another attacked me. Take these fuckers, man. <laughs> you right, man? Right? Okay. Are oh, you reading the book? All right, this is where we're gonna find our first uh, drain demon things, where the fuck they're called, which basically uh, replace the hunters in this game. I mean, not the hunters, but the uh, ah, you fucker, but the liquors. There's some hangovers, gunpowder on this uh, dead body here. This is why I did that. I don't think he actually bit me. He uh, he grabbed me, but I think I shook him up for I, I stood damage. I don't know. I just seen the blood. 
Alright, another fake thing here. There's Carlos. But he's running so fast that you didn't actually see him go in the door. He got there really, really fast and we never saw him go in the door. I told you the game refuses to show you to show them actually going inside the door. I don't know why, but they do. A couple of green herbs over here. Since the item bosses are across the corner, I'll go ahead and pick them up. What the hell was that? Oh, the game? Why do that? It was, it was loading something? That was, I, I never heard that before. Unless it was a uh, buggy or whatever. Uh, yes. Yeah, this is a GameCube game, but I'm playing this on my Wii. And by the way, uh, speaking of which, uh, I was really uh, pissed off when uh, the remake of Resident Evil 1 was really, really kick ass. I was mad when they got too lazy and they decided to simply do a port of Resident Evil 2 and 3. A remake of Resident Evil 2 and 3 would be pretty badass. I don't know why they won't do it, but oh well. I guess the uh, Umbrella Kongas and Dark Side Kongas is the closest we're going to get to a Resident Evil 3 and uh, 2 remake. But by the way, in Resident Evil 0, you actually uh, go to uh, a place in Resident Evil 2. When you use uh, Rebecca, um, you're on that little train thing. In the place where the tyrant uh, busts the camera. That's kind of funny. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and take that with me. Uh, I don't need this yet. I'll get that on my way back. Pocket that for now. My herbs. Let's, let's go ahead and miss these herbs. I'll do shit off screen. We'll be back. I'm gonna edit all this out while I'm while I'm doing the game. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna grab this uh, jewel now. I'm gonna be using it real soon. Let's get out of here. All right, more dead guys. Sorry if you can guys can uh, barely hear me, but I gotta be quiet because of that bitch downstairs. She she, she complains about me uh, being too loud at night. But uh, oh well, die, fucker. That zombie always bites me if I don't shoot him. That's because I did it. <coughs> As I was saying, another fate change thing here. You can either go here now. If you go to the building down there, you run to Carlos now. And we have to get the key in the cafeteria. If you go to the cafeteria now, Carlos will be in the cafeteria and we got to get the key up here. Which is uh, kind of weird, but oh well. Speaking of keys, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one right now. So I can free a space. So I got to carry both of them later on. And by the way, uh, if you absorb this uh, dead body over here, you get some handgun bullets. Come on, pick them up, thank you. Which is why, once again, I do not make handgun bullets because you don't need to. There are handgun bullets everywhere. Pretty much every dead guy has something on him, except for those guys there. Alright, let's go. And by the way, if you're playing the mercenaries with Nikolai, this is where you're counting your first hunters, so try not to get your head cut off here. There's a first aid spray there, but I'm not going to use it because I think using first aid sprays uh, lowers your ranking, doesn't it? I know it does in uh, Cove Veronica. In Cove Veronica, you can't use any first aid sprays with the A rank. I don't know about this one, but I'm going to try not to use any. Oh, come on! Uh, seriously? Okay. Well, I use first aid sprays only if I really, really need to. Because uh, I did do this whole game without first aid sprays one time. So. Is this shit recording? Yeah, it's recording. Anyway, after you uh, do that, you just uh, hit this switch right here. Which is probably the easiest puzzle in the game. <laughs> uh, unlike Ovranka, Jill can somehow magically stand in this fire and not get burned. That's kind of amazing. And Cove Ronka and Resident 2, I think you actually take damage if, if you uh, hit the fire. But in this game, she can stay in the fire forever and not get burned. That's amazing, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Once again, uh, since I came here first, they're going to the cafeteria. Nimsy is going to come up here first. And run to our friend Carlos. So let me get a cutscene and we're going to shut up. Hey. Where... where am I? Relax. You're fine. If you say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Jill. Alpha Team? RPD's STARS unit. Who do you represent? STARS? I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force, sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey! Don't look at me like that, what did I say? Do you have a problem? Yeah. 
Oh no. It's him. Oh shit, this fuck again. Okay, are we going to hide in the back or are we going to jump out the window? Well, this is kind of dumb, but we're going to be jumping. Come on. Oh, Ow, that killed. Just so you know, I'm not into that pain is pleasure thing, okay? Just deal with it. That thing wants me dead. We've got to get out of here. Uh, the reason why I did that because uh, I don't know if you can get these uh these red hairs anywhere else. But I did I get these red herbs. Sometimes if you don't pick up things in one spot, you'll get another one. But I don't know about these red herbs. So that's why I did it. If you choose to hide in the back, a random explosion will uh, knock him out. And you can uh, pick up some gun parts from him. But we're not going to be doing that right now. I don't care about that, that shit and doing this uh, first playthrough. Another cutscene. Let me shut up. Wait. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. I have to know. Why did Umbrella send you here? Because we're on a civilian rescue mission. Oh, you're full of it. They're the ones who caused all this in the first place. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Listen. If you want answers about Umbrella, you're asking the wrong guy. Believe it or not, we are here to rescue civilians. If you can trust me, join us. Think about it. Can we trust the minimum Umbrella? That's kind of hard. Anyway, uh, what we gotta do now is we gotta go back to the cafeteria to get, to get the second jewel. Once again, if you go to the cafeteria first, you have to come up here where it was a minute ago. And get the jewel, but I gotta go back to the cafeteria and get it. And uh, I actually died here last time I played it because the Nipsey trapped me in that door and he killed me and shit. But that, I say it again this time because that happens. <laughs> I had that recorded. I might show you that that blooper later on if I feel like it. I don't know. <laughs> I might make a, a bloopers uh, video for you guys. We have to wait and see. I don't like seeing Jill die. Anyway, we're gonna pocket this for now. Uh, what I need now is I need my lockpick, and uh, I guess I'll go ahead and keep that in I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using that real soon. I might as well just go ahead and hold on to it. I'm gonna use that real soon. Uh, and let's go. Yes, it's, it's really hard for me to do a speed run this game because this, this game is just so fucking random. I just cannot do a speed run of Resident Evil Three. We really don't know what's gonna happen sometimes. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Nah, nothing special. I ain't, ain't nothing over there. <laughs> uh, in the messengers, uh, there are three more hunters in this room, so watch out if he's a Nikolai. Cut your head off. Use the lockpick. Use the fucking lockpick. Oh, this way. Okay. You need this key to get that key. I need that key to get another key. Of course. A couple of zombies in here that won't lose their heads. So let's do that. Decapitation. Die. What the fucker? I don't use no more than one hang on one shotgun shell on a zombie. Blow this one off. Let's try this again. What the fuck? Oh no, you don't. I see you. Ah, what the hell? I get some more. Anyway, you take that pole and use it here. Do we really need a pole for that? Oh well, we, we could have just got a, a rich or something. <laughs> uh, if you end up fighting nemesis here, uh, they're like high down here. More dead guys, of course. Bitch, die. One bullet left. Got plenty of handgun boots. Die. Reload. Die. There's another one here, I think. No, that's all of them. Uh, if, as I say, if you end up fighting nemesis here, sometimes you have to like escape through here. But I'm really bad at doing that. If you don't do it in time, uh, Carlos will automatically you, uh, take you back to the fight with the nemesis. Whether or not you can run from or not, I don't know. But uh, I always end up fighting the son of a bitch, which is why, which is the main reason why I chose not to uh, do it that way. Because I don't like fighting nemesis unless I got freeze rounds. <laughs> or a rocket launcher, of course. 
Anyway, uh, let me see if I got some gunpowder over here. Sorry, this game is completely random. Yeah, see, it's nice. Sometimes there was some gunpowder on this table. That's what I'm saying. You just don't know when shit's gonna happen in Resident Evil 3. It's just, it's completely random sometimes. Sometimes your actions determine your fate, and sometimes it's random. Anyway, let's go to the next area. A lot of uh, back checking in Resident Evil 3. We're gonna be going back to the beginning of the game real soon. Kind of like Cole Veronica. You, you gotta go back to the beginning of the game to get the. Uh, Get the uh, piano scroll and shit, then take that to the end of the game. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do now is, since I died here last time... Well, where's my herb? I used it? On what? I don't remember using that thing. I don't remember using that big green herb. Oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah, those dogs, those fucking dogs. I mean, th those goddamn dogs. I used on those dogs. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get some shotgun shells real soon. I'm gonna use that real soon. So let me take this turn because the nemesis killed me last time. Reload my gun and let's go to the second half of this uh, Raccoon City Street thing in this uh, zombie-infested area. Now, Nemesis should be out here, but this time I'm gonna run instead of sitting here. Here he comes! This son of a bitch here. Okay, this time I saved the game. So he's not killing me this time, of course. He's walking this time. Last time he was running for me. And you saw that yourself, didn't you? See, this time he had this time he had no chance of killing me. See, he's walking now. He's just, he's just taunting me. Yeah, I know, fucker. Uh, when we come back here, did this room be infested by zombies? Just, just note that. No point in going to the right now because uh, we, we can't do it completely yet. We, we need this, but it's gonna break, so it, it is a rusted crank after all. Should be a few dead guys in this room, and there are. There's a sleeper. We're just running from him. Uh, still zombie. Another dodge, dodge. Told you, you are. Oops. Fucker! Off with the head. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, you aren't gonna see me uh, kill everything in this game like I did in Cold Rock. And Cold Rock, I pretty much just killed everything in my way with the knife. <laughs> but we aren't gonna be using the knife in with 3. Should be two herbs here, and there are. There's a, a good number of herbs in Resident 3, but the thing is, uh, the enemy's attacks, they really hurt, unfortunately. So it, it won't it won't take it won't take many hits to kill you in this game, especially with that fucking nemesis running around with rocket launchers and shit. <laughs> anyway, if you absorb this uh, dead guy right here, okay. Sometimes uh, these uh, zombies are dogs. This time they're zombies. If you absorb this uh, dead guy here, some of you didn't know this. He has 14 shotgun shells. This is why I do not make shotgun ammo because I don't need to make them. I can pick them up. Did you know that, AJ? Did you know that? <laughs> Alright, and now for the second half of this. Uh, shooting that barrel would, would be nice, but I'm going to save that for Mikhail. I'll let Mikhail uh, use that barrel. He needs it more than I do. Well, he, he's got grenades anyway. Don't you guys know when to stay dead? Damn. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get a rather long cutscene here, so let me shut up. Uh, You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Here we have the best mercenary, Mikhail. Most people you use this guy to unlock the weapons because he has the magnum, the shotgun, and a rocket launcher. <laughs> Get ready! Ah, ah, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. 
uh, in the mission days, uh, Mikhail has the best weapons, but unfortunately, uh, as a trade-off to this uh, awesome arsenal, he only has one mixed herb, so he really can't afford to get hit. I recommend you save that for like the nemesis and stuff like that, the bus nemesis, whatever, but he has rocket launcher, so you should be okay. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'm going the wrong way down. Okay. Another cutscene. Let's discuss our plan to get out of the city. Our half-baked plan, anyway. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Hmm. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. And Carlos gives you a side pad, a traditional item. But unlike Co Veronica, you actually see her wearing the side pad, which is uh, kind of disturbing because I'd rather see her ass, but oh well. Anyway, um, what's this, this let's get moving stuff? Cause apparently, our plan is to uh, get this car moving. So we got to find a piece to the car. But what's this let's? I'm going to do all the work. He's not going to do anything. I'm doing all the work. W what's this let's stuff? I'm the one that's going to find all the keys to it. D does that make any sense? Anyway, uh... At this point, if you come back here, you'll see a little scene with uh, with uh, Mikhail. If you uh, shoot that barrel, he'll throw a grenade instead. Just thought I'd note that. I guess I'll probably uh, trigger that cutscene to show people. Now that I got the uh, the rusted crank and the wrench, we're gonna go to the uh, to the gas station now. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, oh, I forgot. This uh, dead guy's gonna come out of the car just in time. To lose your head, bitch. Thank you. If you look inside this car, you guessed it. Gunpowder B. You can make shotgun shells with that, but we're gonna be saving that for for a uh, uh, gunpowder C, so I can make a grenade or a mat or whatever. Anyway, which remind me, uh, there's another gunpowder bee that I didn't pick up. I'll get that later on, thanks to those fucking dogs. Once again, I don't know exactly what determines this, but when you go to the parking lot, I mean the gas station here, uh, sometimes it'll be either Nikolai or it'll be Carlos. I don't know exactly what determines that. If somebody please knows, please tell me. Alright. Let's open it. Come on. Come on. Open up. Oh, oh, shit. It broke. Okay. Uh, now we gotta use the wrench. I guess we can't turn it with our bare hands. But we do guys, but, but we do have a shotgun. We could have just shot it down. Or unless that's really. Hmm, it's still here. I guess that means we still need it. Okay, that's not. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to fill space there. In a way, let's go in now. I mean, I knew it's still there, but I'm just you know talking. Alright, sometimes there will be gunpowder in here, but unfortunately it's not here today. I guess that means I pick up somewhere. Sometimes there'll be some gunpowder on the table. So this, this game is just completely random. Now, who's here? Nikolai, right? Yeah, Nikolai. I'll check over there. Once again, uh, sometimes uh, this would be Carlos. I don't know exactly what determines that. There's a first aid spray right here, but we're not going to be picking it up. I don't know if there's any hidden ammo in this room. I never found a hidden ammo. Uh, speaking of Nikolai, uh, this is his key to survival in the mercenaries. You have to save the fat dude here. 
Here's to give you a sister handgun bullets. You need those bullets to save the next mercenary. Trust me. Unless you're a professional with a knife, which I am not. Anyway, we have a somewhat aggravating uh, puzzle here. It's not too difficult. Basically, the, the, the letter that's lighting up is the one you're going to turn on. A is lighting up now, so we're just going to do this turn that one on. Okay, that was easy. Now I got to turn on D. We're going to do it this way. And there's D. Now we got to turn on B because B is about seven. We're going to do C, B, A, B, C. Now this one's kind of hard. There we go. Kind of confusing, but you'll figure out eventually. You got the machine oil. Okay, I got a key. I wonder what happens now. Oh shit. Now, how the fuck did Nikolai survive that? Spoilers, he's not dead yet. But you know that, right? Okay. Let's get out of here before we uh, end up being barbecued in this uh, place. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we got a nice little butt shot here. I, I, I think I saw some butt cheeks through her, through her uh, skirt. I think I saw butt cheeks there. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I, I, think, I think I see her butt crack there. I'm gonna have to pause that and check it out or whatever. <laughs> Just sexy, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess say say when we come back here again, unless you're playing mercenaries, you will be going there with, with uh, Nikolai. Trust me. Now that we got that, we're gonna go forward now. Do I got room? Uh, not a whole, not a whole lot of room. Should be a couple of zombies uh, coming out right about now, and uh, you, and you're getting ready to go to sleep. I see it. Oh, dead guys! There we go. Come on, come on, guys! Come on, die, bitches! Thank you. Those green herds that I didn't pick up uh, are right here. See, sometimes they'll be here. And sometimes they'll be there where those dogs are, so I'll tell you, this is just completely random. Now, I will pick up these right now, but unfortunately, I have to get this, this key item here. Since I gotta come back here later on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this now. When I come back here, I'll make sure that I got room to get those herbs, because I need them, trust me. They ain't going nowhere, don't worry, I hope. <laughs> herbs don't just magically uh, disappear today. Okay. All right. Now, now that I got the wrench, there's another place I gotta go to. Should be Carlos coming up real soon. There he goes. I'm gonna kill these zombies now because uh, I can kill them now while they're all together and save ammo and space because if I don't kill them now, they're going to be all scattered out this place and it's going to cost me more boots to kill them, which is why I'm doing it now. Come on, die please. Die bitch. Because I'm going to be coming through here quite a few times and they're going to be in my way if I don't kill them. If, uh, once again, I did that now because uh, later on they're going to be throughout this whole place and it's going to take more boots to kill them. That's, that's why I did that, to save ammo. You got to think in this game, guys. Sorry. What we're going to do now is, uh, we're just going to pocket this for now, so I'm not going to use it for a while. Uh, let me make another gunpowder see here. How many can I make? Anyways, go back, going, uh, we're going to be doing a little bat checking for a while. And, uh, go, baby. Thank you. Do a little bat checking for a while here. You still awake? I don't know. We start laying on that, that means you get ready to go to sleep. <laughs> you get ready to go, test me. You get ready to go, I see it. Anyway, uh... We're gonna take that book and use it over here. Now we're gonna grab this. The reason why I have to do that is because uh, if you take this without putting that in, then you won't be able to get out with the water because the water's gonna be blocking you. But I don't know why water's stopping us, but I don't know. Kind of weird. But that's video games for you, they don't make sense. Anyway, I think those uh, uh Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm not ready to uh, do this yet. Let me just go ahead and uh, use that book so it's going to take up into a space if I don't. Okay. 
Once again, I'm gonna be coming through here quite a few times. This is precisely why I kill those zombies, cause uh, there'll be like one here, and there'll be one up there, and it's just gonna be just waste of ammo. Which is why I kill them that way. So yeah, I'm that way. See, with some uh, dogs coming at me right about now. Yep. Oh, crows. Okay, they're crows now. Sometimes they're sometimes you fuckers. Sometimes they're dogs. Told you this game is completely random. <laughs> I always get dolls there. Do you? Or you get crows? See if some more zombies are popping out right about now. Not yet. Now I got room to pick up these. I didn't have room to pick them up earlier, but I got now. Uh. Now we're going to take that and put it here, obviously. Okay, why could we just walk back there and get it ourselves up? Why can we just walk behind it, step on that grass, and pick it up ourselves? Why can we do that? That makes no sense to me. It was closed. Oh, that's what it was? Okay. <laughs> mm. But anyway, now we got the battery. Damn fucking crows. Uh, there's this uh, Resident 2 on Dreamcast. There's this uh, difficulty called Nightmare. It's really... At this point, it's practically impossible to find Resident 2 on Dreamcast, but this is difficulty mode called Nightmare. Pretty much, any enemy kills you in three hits. Zombie bites you three times, you're dead. Crows uh, pick you five times, you're dead. Just really, uh, there is no auto aim. Just really difficult mode there. I think to me, like, I think I died 50 times before I actually beat it. <laughs> but I died. I, I, I did not die. I think I died the most in Mega Solid 2, European stream. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, that's pretty sad. That's very sad. You take that battery and use it here. Uh, use the fucking, use the fucking battery. What the? F Did you see that shit, AJ? Okay, I'll deal with those fuckers later. I can assure you, I will get you for that later on. For now. Skip back to full health. I don't like seeing caution mode. I got I got her as a spare. See with some dead guys here. And if you absorb this uh, corpse here, you get some more handgun bullets. Did you know that? Okay. Dead guys. Mm, let me save those. Come on, bitch. Die. I got handgun, but I need to use them. God damn! That's a lot of dead guys. Die, bitches. Three zombies. What the fuck? But why didn't she die? Three zombies with uh, one bullet. Well, that one got back up, but oh well. Anyway, there should be some... Uh, yeah, I got plenty of space. Let me uh, heal up. Should be some uh, s some gunpowder here. Cause I, I didn't pick it up earlier, so I should have some gunpowder in this room. Some gunpowder B, I believe. Three of them. On this table over here. And there they are. See, I didn't pick up another one, so that's how I knew it was here. So this game is just completely random sometimes. You don't know when you're going to pick shit up. I'll use those later on. Alright, a somewhat uh, annoying puzzle here. Basically, we got to get this one on 20. We got to get that one on 120. To do that, first you uh, hit this switch right here. Come on, hit the switch. Hit the fucking... Come on, hit the... Thank you. All right, how I do this again? Uh, I think this one is red, red, blue, blue. Damn it, wrong one. Uh, do you mean to say, Jay? Try red, blue, blue, red. No, that's 100. It's gotta be 120 or 20. Wait a minute. There we go. There's the first one. This is your key item. Regardless of uh, which one you open up first, on your way back out, oh shit, zombies, and a lot of them. That's a lot of dead guys. Um, I think I'm gonna save ammo since I'm not done with this room yet. We're gonna increase electricity. Which is kind of dangerous, but I know it's going to happen, so it's not dangerous. B. 
Beautiful. Uh, if you uh, use the exit shield, go out here. There's probably some hers back there, but uh, I think I need my ammo more than I need hers right now. This is why I did that. Anyway, we're not done with this room yet. Now we're going to do red, blue. Uh, wrong one. It, uh, I think I got to do, uh, it's got to be 120. Let's try blue. Damn it, how do you get that shit again? Uh, what was it? Uh, too high. Damn it. <laughs> I hate this fucking puzzle, man. There we go. There we go. Blue, blue, red, red, and you get this one. Since I, since I got the grenade launcher earlier, what we have here is my favorite weapon in the game, the all-powerful Magnum. And I got room for it. All right. And at this point, this is when I pretty much stopped using the handgun, but I got a lot of bullets I need to put them to use. Only shooting zombies when they're in my way. So let's get out of here. And unlike most dead zombies, their bodies are still here. That's actually the only time you, you actually see that happen. Usually when you kill a zombie, their body will uh, magically disappear as you leave the room. But this time they're still here. That's kind of kind of funny. Sometimes uh, when you come out here, the nemesis will pop up and be shooting you with a rock launcher from afar. But that's not happening this time. Has that ever happened to you here? But this time it's not happening. I told you that this game is random. You just don't know when shit's gonna happen. But I'm not complaining. All right. I ain't forget about you fuckers. Did I say I was gonna deal with you? I ain't forget about you fuckers. Die, bitch. Next. Where you at? There you are. Die, bitch. I ain't forget about you sons of bitches. Assholes. Now then, pay best a bitch, ain't it? It's gonna hit me right when I put the battery in. <laughs> Actually, there's another one right there. You know what? I don't like these guys. <laughs> I hate those fuckers, man. Cause they they jump after you. Uh, sometimes I think there'd be some shotgun shells in that car, but a zombie has to pop out, open it, something. I I can never get them to come out sometimes, but there are shotgun shells in that car. Hmm. It, it really happens. It really happens. All right, we don't need this for a while. Let's just uh, put this by our. Once again, uh, this is my main focus. Uh, Magnum bullets, three uh, gunpowder seeds with the reload tool. Make sure Magnum ammo. We're just gonna pocket that baby for now, next to its best friend. Come on, there you go. We'll use that later on when I have more worthy things to kill, like uh, hunters and shit. Let me just uh. Make another gunpowder C for now. Uh, why'd I hesitate to shoot him? <laughs> Die, bitch. There we go. Anyway, uh, I'll get those uh, cables later. I ain't got the space for it right now. I should have time to uh, get this uh, gunpowder B before those dogs come after me. I didn't get it before. Give me that. Thank you. Did I kill those dogs? Oh, they're gone now, I think. Yeah, they're gone now because cause now the crows are here. The dogs are gone now the crows are here. That's why. Forgot about that. This game got some scary moments. <laughs> How much space I got? Now I can get this uh, blue herb that I didn't get earlier. It's not going to take me in space because I'm going to combine with this red herb right here. There we go. I'll get this uh, other one on my way back. I ain't got space for it because I know I'm going to pick up some more gunpowder arrow. I mean, uh, gunpowder B. I'm, I'm thinking about the, 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 I'm thinking about the bow gun from Cole Veronica. You take the wrench user here. Fire hydrant. Take the fire hose. And now we don't need a wrench anymore. Goodbye. I first played this game. It took me a long time to figure out these puzzles, man. Cause I, cause I, I didn't have a guide when I first played this game. I, I was stuck on this, this, this thing for like five hours. These fuckers again. Die, bitches. I got one of them. I got them both. Cool. 
<laughs> one handgun bullet. That's how you preserve your ammo in this game. I got one handgun bullet, kill two of those fuckers. You know, you can just run in with them, but I hate them. Okay, sometimes there are dogs here. Now we got zombies. So this, this game is completely random. The dead policemen. They, they, they just magic came out of nowhere, I guess. Now that we got the fire hose, we're going to use it right here. Why can't I use a grenade freezer to put that out? Huh? Oh, I, I just not thought of that. I got a grenade freezer. Why can't I use that to put it out? Why I got to be fire hose? Uh, can somebody tell me something? Is it possible to kill that zombie over there? What's the point of putting him over there if he can't get... Is it possible for him to bite me or for me to kill him? I never found out how to kill that zombie in that room. Oh, well. Anyway, here's the, the blue herb I was talking about. This is why I brought this so I can make another mix here. I guess I just go ahead and uh, take this whip in the process. I've got a couple of uh, drain demons to kill here. I hate these fuckers. I'm probably gonna kill each and every one I see. But before doing that, we're gonna pick up this uh, wrench here. It's worth it. Trust me. We're gonna get this wrench right here. This uh, crank, I mean. Was that that bitch again, AJ? Oh, okay, sorry. I, I thought that was a uh, die. Sucking my blood. Die, bitch. Dang, hate these fuckers, man. <laughs> I can't stand those things. They're so annoying when they attack you. No! Cutscene. Don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Kill me. I finished. Not human. Wait, we... We don't have to do this. Please hurry. Before I lose conscious. Before too late. Kill me! Yeah! Murphy. Why? No. No. Alright guys, I'm bad, sorry about that. My catcher device fucked up again. Anyway, uh, if if Nikolai shows up here, he kills uh, Murphy without hesitation. I thought there was something hidden over here. Like uh, something. Yeah, first aid spray. You can't see it, but there's a first aid spray right there. Just thought I'd note that for those of you who are using first aid sprays. And I really don't like seeing the caution mode, but I need to save that hurt, so what the hell. Uh, I don't want the manage to put, I want the remote control. Thank you. Get the remote control. Thank you. Alright. Safe sprint. That's the password, safe sprint. And by the way, uh, you can actually uh, save that woman in mercenaries. Really important for using uh, Nikolai because she gives you the, uh, the enhanced uh, handgun bullets. What was that, AJ? Uh, safe sprint? How do you spell that shit? <laughs> safe sprint. Did I spell that right? Yeah, password confirmed. Soft spin. What the hell is soft spin? Some kind of mess. Anyway, uh, unlocked. Uh, I know that it's unlocked. Okay. Anyway, let's get our shotgun ready because we're getting ready to use it. We're getting ready to pick up a really important key so you know what happens when you anytime you pick up an important key. <laughs> Actually, before doing that, I'm use this first. Should be some uh some uh, powder in here and a lot of it. Yeah, I got three A here. Sometimes there's also some B here, but I picked them earlier. Uh, let me get the one, two, three. Damn, I don't want to waste any powers. You know what? I don't need this. Consume it. I don't need that. Cause I I want to get all three of these uh powders and that key. Cause I don't want to be be back checking and missing powers. But I don't the way I don't want to mix them. Get all three of these. 
I don't really uh, need that blue herb because I I don't get poisoned a lot in Resident Evil 3. Alright, we we picked up a key item. I wonder what happens now. Oh shit. Ooh, you guessed it. More zombies. A lot of them. <laughs> Where are those fuckers coming from anyway? <laughs> okay, we got quite a lot of dead guys that wanna die again. You can uh you can aim for this uh wheel thing here and kill most of them that way. That'll save you a little ammo. Just thought I'd note that for those of you who didn't know that. I got a few of them. This bitch is coming for me. Let me hang on her. She's already hurt because of that. She's dead. Uh oh. No, you don't. Back off, bitch. There you go. No, you don't. Back off. It's easier to do it when they're. Ironically, it's easier to dodge the zombies when they're running from you than it is when they're walking slow. I don't know why that is, but it is. <laughs> so I can do it, but. You know. Anyway, uh, let's get the hell out of here before you turn into zombie food. These fuck up. There we go. No, you don't, bitch. Damn, I missed the bullet. That's okay. Die. There's another bitch out here that want to die. There she goes, and... I'm sorry, baby. How could you do that to a woman? <laughs> she's not a woman, she's a zombie. Monster. It was I was saying, for some odd reason, it's a lot easier to actually dodge them when they're running for you than it is when they're walking slowly. I don't know why, but it is. So I, I, I had I had no trouble dodging them that time. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I got that. There's a one last key that I need to get, and ironically, all I gotta do is pick it up on my way back. The the, the cables from the car. But before doing that, there's quite a lot of ammo that we need to get. And since the Nemesis is about to pop up right about now, I think this would be a good time to use my herb. I need to go in my item box. Yep, here comes that fucker himself. I knew it. Hate this son of a bitch. Alright. This guy has killed me too many times. I'm not going to take a chance. Full of life, goddammit. Cause he has a he has a bad habit of uh, knocking you down and picking you up before you can heal yourself and kill you. I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate it when he does that. Cause unfortunately, uh, you cannot go to your inventory while you're while you're uh, getting back up. He'll grab you while you're down and kill you instantly. Yeah, that's when he uh, he transforms in the in, in the clock time with those tentacles and shit. I can't stand that that crap. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make some more uh, Matinum rounds now. He is a tyrant. <laughs> there we go. So we have a total of 48 Matinum rounds. If you, Well, I got I used some already. And those are my Matinum rounds for the rest of the game. That's more than enough. Uh, I will uh, use the rest of these to make um, grenade freeze rounds for that fucking nemesis. And I'm getting ready, and that's exactly what I'm going to go pick up right now. Oh, wrong way. Shit, wrong way. Wrong way. Stars. Uh, if you're really good, or if you're a daredevil, you're going to try to knock him out and pick up these, uh, these uh, gun parts. But we're not going to be doing that. Oh, I almost forgot I didn't get this uh, red herbal here, did I? I still got one left. Oh, what the? Okay, the door is right there. I pressed the dodge button. The door is right there, but he, he came out of nowhere. You saw that. I told you that they, they aren't going to show you him opening the door. I pressed the dodge button. I guess I pressed too early. Okay, I hope Nemesis doesn't come here because I, I need to go. I need, I need, I need this uh, room. Fuck! He's here again. Wrong way. You missed. Anyway, my reason for coming here is to get these uh, these grenades here. It's fortunate that he can't come down here doing the cutscene. That's very fortunate. Oh, as I die ten times here. I'm gonna get these uh, grenades, and within luck, I picked up picked them all up before he uh, 
kills me like he did last time. Oh. Look at this. Man, I pressed the fucking dodge button. You heard me pressing the dodge button. What the? Okay, I don't think Nims is going to come way down here. Die, bitch. <laughs> Uh, there should be a dead girl here. I think. No, not yet, cause I didn't. Cause I didn't go that way. If you uh, you eventually see this uh girl being chased by these zombies, and eventually she's gonna get eaten here or whatever. And it looks like he got eaten by one of those undead monsters. That's exactly what he's trying to avoid. But oh well. Anyway, we're gonna go in here now. Come on. And get the gunpowder. This is the sole reason why I came way down here. I came out here just for this. Believe it or not. Uh, come on. Get, get the fucking gunpowder. Thank you. Because now. I can take these. Uh, I can take these right here. I can turn these uh, gunpowder C's. Into freeze rounds. And trust me. You need these shits. That's the sole reason why I did this. It makes your life so much easier against the Nimbus because he is a bitch to fight without freeze rounds. Or the rocket launcher, of course, but we don't have that yet, so we're going to use freeze rounds. Alright, uh, a few more things I want to show, I think. Anyways, I was just a lot, right? No, I, th I thought I unlocked that, but I guess I didn't. Just something uh, small that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's not for the story anyway. If you go this way at this point in the game, or after you uh, meet Brad for the first time, you'll see this uh, this uh, girl being chased by these zombies here. You hear her yelling? Now where she come from? She just she just came out of nowhere. She wasn't here. She wasn't here earlier. You see her? And no matter how fast I am, I, I can't catch her. No! Where'd she come from? She just came out of nowhere. And how she saw, how did she survive? In a way, uh... Yeah. Anyway, no matter how fast you are, it looks like it's impossible to save this girl. She's dead. Damn. If it's possible to save her, please let me know. She's too cute. I didn't want her to die. Oh well. Just thought I'd show you guys that. It's impossible to save that girl. In a way, I got everything I need, so I'll meet you back in the room where the big, where the big bus is, where the crows part of the bus. I'll meet you back there. I forgot I didn't get this uh, blue herb here, and it couldn't have came at a better time because now I can mix it and save space. All right, good, good, good. And I guess I'll go ahead and uh, go to full health now, since I got a boss fight coming up real soon. Two boss fights actually. All right. The crow's still here. There's one last key that I need to pick up. And that crow's be persistent. <laughs> Fuck, it was following me like crazy. My best friend uh, dozed off here on me. In a way, I need to get this, uh, this, uh, these uh, cables here from this car. I could have got it earlier, but I can't use it to it now, which is why I didn't get it to it then. Save space. Right. At this point, Going back here, we get interrupted by an earthquake of some sort. And we get another live uh, action decision here, unfortunately. Are we going to climb up or are we going to jump down? Well, since we don't know how deep this hole is, we'll be stupid to jump down, so instead we're going to be climbing up. I don't know if this changes uh, later events in the game, but I do know that if you if you jump down, you have to you'll uh, go back to the parking lot. Once again, I don't know if that actually changes uh, future events. If it does, uh, please uh, let me know exactly what it changes. But it doesn't seem to change any major for me. But oh well. Anyway, now we have all the keys we need to get the hell out of here. So let's do that. We need this, and we need. Uh, Come on, we need this and we need that. And I need uh Oh, I got everything. And I need to combine that. That's everything we need. And last but definitely not least, I need to some herbs so that I don't die. 
And uh, let's save the game. This is the same time I've done this in this uh, walkthrough. I can actually uh, beat this whole game without saving, without dying at the same time. But uh, since Nemesis uh, has a bad habit of killing me when I get pretty far, we're not going to be trying that today. Alright, let's get out of here. Anyway, we can finally get out of this zombie infested place now. <laughs> uh, did I get his herbs? Yeah, I got him. See, some zombies are popping out of the wall. Oh, that's when you go back. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. Damn it. Uh, one very important thing that you guys have to know about the Nemesis is the fact that he's left-handed. So if you run to Nemesis' right side, you'll, you'll most likely dodge the test, but sometimes he will indeed uh, hit you with his uh, right hand. But yeah, Nemesis is uh, left-handed. Like most uh, tyrants, they're all left-handed. I don't know why it is, but it is. Have you noticed that, AJ? Or oh, you sleep on me again. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. The earthquake again. What's going on here? A uh, another earthquake. Mm. Oh shit! You know what? I really hate this uh this uh boss fight. I don't know why, but for some reason I will, I burn a lot, and I mean a lot of ammo here. I really do. That's why I hate this fight. I hate it with a passion. Okay, what's going on here? What the what the fuck is this? A worm with uh, teeth. Anyway, what we have to do is you have to press these uh, buttons here. You don't you you don't have to ask. Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn it! That hurt. Okay, that was pretty bad. Let me heal up, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, you don't have to ask the uh, disable him here. If you're fast enough, which I am not apparently, this is a terrible performance here. As I was saying, if you're fast enough, you can press the button here and flee before he comes back out. But this thing is uh, pretty fast. Just lure him out for a little while, then go back in. Up, oh, damn it. Damn, I hate this thing, man. Get back in there. What the? Ugh. Okay, I'm not doing too good with this. Hit the switch and get out here before we get killed. And now we gotta hit the last switch over here. Uh, but you have to shoot him now. Unfortunately, we have to shoot him now. I don't know exactly how many hits take to, to get this thing to run away, but out of all the boss fights in the game, this is the one I hate the most because I burn a lot of ammo here and I can't get this guy to show up. I can't get this guy to leave until I spend like like all my all my grenade rounds and stuff like that. I can't stand th th this monster. This thing just doesn't know when to quit. Uh, is this possible to hit that switch without? Shooting this guy here, please let me know. Up, oh, fuck, cause I hate this fucker, man. Damn it. Okay, there he goes. Once again, if it's possible to beat that fucker without burning ammo, please tell me, cause I cannot stand that monster. Alright, I took a lot of uh, damage there, unfortunately. But I should be okay because I got these. I hope. Alright, um. I should be okay. Let's get out of here. If I didn't, if I don't, I save my game, so I'll try again. <laughs> Alright, it's, it's 
What the? Oh yeah, I didn't do the little cutscene with the with the with the Mikhail. I forgot about that. I didn't do uh I didn't do M Mikhail's uh cutscene when he uh, kills the zombies here. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, edit that in uh right about now. From the last time I did this did this uh, run. Mikhail, do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I'm wounded. But can't you see those monsters are also the victims of Umbrella? Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. Uh, sorry. I feel so useless. Don't. You fought hard and have the wounds to prove it. But... I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. I could not save my men. In a way... Uh, uh, fuck you dead guys. Anyway, let's get out of here finally. Let's get these uh, freeze rounds ready. Now, for those of you who uh, don't know how good the freeze rounds are, just the nemesis you are about to see if I don't die anyway. But first, let's go ahead and put these uh, put these uh, things in the uh, cable car here. Come on, it's one, two, three. Now, what's all this wee shit? I'm doing all the hard work. I did everything. You guys didn't do anything. Carlos, I'm sorry about Murphy, but there was nothing you could have done. Yeah, you're right, Jill. I'll operate the cable car. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on, let's go. Uh, at this point, um, if you got the scenario where, where Nikolai killed Murphy... Carlos will give you six uh, freeze rounds here. And trust me, you need them. But I already got them, so I'm okay. It's looking good. Okay, Carlos, you're supposed to be the man. Why are you letting the woman go back there and see what's going on? You're the man. Why am I doing this? Okay. Anyway, let's see what's going on back here. The music should have been a clue. Are you up, AJ? You gone? Uh, not this fuck again. Unfortunately, this time we have to fight him. Freeze rounds. I still hit him. Uh, he got me with his left hand again. I hate this son of a bitch. I'm still in full health. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Nims uh, look at this. Unfortunately, look at this. Nemesis uh, is pretty good at um, uh, pretty good at dodging your dodging your attacks. There he goes. Freeze rounds. <laughs> 
As I was saying, uh, unfortunately, Nemesis is pretty good at dodging your grenades, so try to shoot him up close. If you hit him with the uh, six or seven freeze rounds, he'll fall automatically. So yes, uh, use freeze rounds for that fucker, please. <laughs> Okay, a very, very, very important decision here. We are going to use the emergency brake. Trust me, you want to do this. You don't have to, but I recommend you do it. Unless you're a daredevil. I'll explain why this is very important later on. But unfortunately, this thing is like almost two hours long, so we're going to end it right now. We will continue on the next episode, so we'll see you guys later. Take it easy. And I'm pretty hurt on that. We'll live, baby. I hope. Sexy lady, yeah. The Clock Tower and Crows. Alright, we'll be back, guys. Take it easy.